call themselves a can-do kind of town. And now we can go to Anna's <laughs> story from our town, Catlin. All right, bring us up to speed. We're talking about so many things that this town is really doing right. When you look around our town, Catlin, it may seem like some other places in central Illinois. But the beauty behind some village projects make them truly unique. It looks to me it uh, gives you goosebumps. It's all alphabetical order. Catlin's War Memorial was just an idea a few years ago. This thing started basically on the back of a napkin. Now it's standing strong. It would take a nuclear warhead to move this thing. It's built, it's built to last. Volunteers from the community worked together to build it. Others pitched in for different parts of the project, like researching each name that's engraved on it. They spent countless hours going through courthouse records of yesteryear trying to determine who qualified and who didn't qualify. This speaks volumes to the community, I think. And this isn't the only time this Our Town community has stepped up. If something needs to be done, it's like a community effort and everybody gets involved. Kids in Catlin love coming to this park, but their families wanted to make it even better. So this is the basketball and now a splash has, park is next um, on the list. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. The sports equipment matches the team effort it's taken to get the project started. You would think that most of the donations would come from people with small children. A large majority were older folks who just want to see something um, really unique that makes Catlin stand out. The pieces are still in boxes, but they've got them and they'll be put together by, no surprise here, even more volunteers. You would need about a month of Our Town Catlin to get all those stories in. Everybody helps each other. We don't have a month, but this week's stories prove the point. With the right attitude, people in Our Town Catlin can do anything they set their mind to. People in the village needed to raise $100,000 for that splash park. They are about 10,000 short as of now, but they plan to add money from this weekend's Strawberry Festival to their collection. Guys? No doubt they are going to raise all that money. And you would like that sports park, that oh, splash yeah. park with all those Get us in there. Let's sports go. equipment. Yeah. Hey, Illinois.